Hello everyone, I'm Major Jip, and today I'm going to be doing something somewhat stupid with a hard drive and a food saver. A uh, hard drive being in here, food saver being right over here. Uh, now what I'm going to do is set up a hard drive for uh, long-term storage underground. Which, in reality, isn't a really good idea. And I feel like no matter what you do, water's going to find a way to get in. Or the condensation's going to uh, corrode contacts and pretty much destroy a hard drive. But there's only, way to, only one way to find out for sure. So, I've already pre-packaged, pre-vacuum sealed a hard drive in this bag here. But I'm going to take it out. This has been in this vacuum sealed bag for about two weeks and I did this because I'm curious how having a vacuum on a hard drive affects it. I don't think it would affect it at all but I just wanted to double check short term if the vacuum would uh, destroy the hard drive before anything that could happen with it being underground would. So in fact let me uh, grab a screwdriver pop this open and make sure it still works. And of course, I'm not gonna be using any special or good hard drive for here, This for this sort of thing. This is a 40 gigabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive. So nothing special by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, so you probably didn't hear that. But when I popped it open, even after the bag was open, I heard air coming back in from the hard drive. So, who knows what sort of damage a hard drive being under a vacuum does. I wouldn't imagine anything, provided it's not running, but I don't know for sure. And uh, as you can see, I'm actually going to put it underground in this case. I'm going to have two layers of ceiling. One for the hard drive and one for the case, because I'm just curious, if water does seep in, how far back it'll go. I mean, how far in it'll go. And this hard drive is also formatted, so I need to throw some stuff into it, just to give me something to test when it comes back to seeing if the hard drive survived. So uh, let me get that set up and let me change the camera and I'll throw some stuff on the hard drive. Okay, so we're looking at the uh, desktop of my uh, Gateway all-in-one machine and uh, let's see if this hard drive powers on after being in a vacuum for two weeks. Uh, hard drive is here, if you're curious. So let's turn it on. I believe I left a single partition on here uh, that was formatted and nothing else. So it should have nothing on it apart from the partition. I turned it on. Windows made its little noise. And it shows up. Uh, let's open folder to view files. And there's nothing in it. Uh, let's do a quick look at crystal disk info. Just to see what... My SSD is overheating. Ah, oh, that's, that's an issue. That's an issue for sure. That's something I'm going to have to take care of. <laughs> These uh, all-in-one machines are kind of awful in the way they're designed because uh, the SSD, SSD just kind of, well, the hard drive essentially just kind of sits up against some heat pipes. Anyway, getting off track. I'll have to figure that one out. Uh, so here is the 40 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, power on hours, 81 days worth, you know, 1959, 478 power on counts, and health status is good. So, I have about 37 gigs worth of files here, and my SSD is almost full, too. I haven't used this computer in a while, and apparently I didn't do too well, too nice to it. Anyway, so what use free space do I have? 37.1. Okay, so there's just enough space. Forgot I had that open. Okay, so continuing where I left off, let's just uh, start a copy process. And it jumped to my other monitor. Okay, anyway. 
let's uh, start copying the 37 gigs worth of stuff to the hard drive at wonderful USB 2.0 speeds. So it's going to take a while, but it does appear to be copying. So uh, I'll be back when that's done. Okay, I am back and I pretty much completely filled this hard drive, which took forever over USB 2.0. I mean, my goodness. I didn't bother uh, connecting it to a computer with USB 3.0 because I figured, ah, 40 gigs won't take too long. It did, for sure. But anyway, uh, I'm going to try and uh, keep this mostly in view, though you should have a good idea what I'm doing anyway if you've ever used a food saver. But, um, I'm going to do two seals on each end, just to, uh, raise my chances of it going well. Uh, let's, let's just seal that. Okay, that's one seal made. Yep, that looks sealed. Now I'm going to do the next one uh, pretty close to the first one. Okay. Now, how much am I going to need? Well, I'm going to need enough space to seal it. So... I'll pull it out to about there. Yeah, a little more. Now, uh, yeah, I'm going to give myself enough space to get a vacuum in here, and then I'm probably going to seal it more, seal it closer to the hard drive. <laughs> I got to tell you, this uh, this seems pretty hilarious to me. <laughs> um, not exactly uh, something I was really expecting to do, but on the other hand, that's not going to make a good seal because sorry. Oh well, well, yeah, I'll figure it out. Do a second one anyway, because why not? Yeah, I can think of a few reasons. <laughs> Hopefully that won't uh, affect it poorly at all. It's, it's still vacuum sealed, so uh, that's good. Let me run it under the cutter. Right along the... Okay, so the hard drive is completely sealed. Now what I'm going to do... Let's put it back into its case. Um, somewhat. And seal up the case. First seal. And second what? Okay. Ah, the beautiful sound of uh, melting plastic. So, eh, give myself a little bit more room in this one since it's in a case.
Should I bother doing a second seal? I eh, may as well. I have okay, so there's going to be an awkward cut because uh, my battery just died. I don't even know if I sealed this yet. No, I didn't. Did I? No. Yeah, I have a sneaking suspicion that um, these second seals are going to end up being where it leaks. Because it's not completely flat, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, that's sealed. So we got two seals there. And we will trim it down. Yep, I didn't trim either of the seals. So there is our vacuum packed hard drive, ready to be buried. Um, and uh, we're actually in the middle of a rainstorm at the moment. Well, we were when I went out here, who knows if it's still going on. But it's time to bury this thing. And uh, I'm probably going to make a video in about a year. Digging this up and uh, seeing if it survived. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's really up in the air whether or not it'll survive. If the seals last, if uh, the plastic holds up. I really have no idea if it's going to survive. And in a way, I kind of don't care because it's still going to be interesting. So, uh, yeah, let me see if I can get a short video of uh, Barry in this thing, and that'll be the end. So, uh, well, let's go do that. Okay, so, this is, uh, pretty sketchy <laughs> seeming. I am currently outside at night in the middle of a storm mapping out a location to bury the hard drive, and I think I found one. Now, I'm gonna have to make note of where this is so I can get it in approximately a year, but yeah, I must look like a crazy person. So let's uh, get this thing buried and, well, come back to it in a year. Okay, so there it is. I was planning on burying it a little bit deeper, but uh, got a few inches down and uh, should make it easier to retrieve once a year or so is up see if it survives. So, uh, let's just bury it back. I'm going to pat it down better and we'll see what it looks like in a year. So, uh, thanks for watching. Major Jet signing out.